Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's a special episode of C3 Mods because my oldest son Rex just bought his first Corvette. Uh, I just flew out of St. Louis and I'm in here in Denver <laughs> International Airport right now to meet him. Uh, we're gonna go pick it up. And his is a 2008, he wanted the LS3. Uh, that's the first year for it. Um, in addition to that, it's a Z51, which is cool enough but it's an automatic, which is what he really wanted. It's gonna be his, uh, his uh, driver in LA uh, every day, and he didn't really want to deal with the, the shifting, but you know, obviously the Z51, that's a cool package. Uh, it's fully loaded. It has every option available for a 2008 Corvette, sans the uh, glass top. It's got the HUD, I mean, it's cool. So um, I'm gonna meet my son here in a bit, and uh, we'll head out to go see the car. Stay tuned. Okay, well, there's our Atomic Orange 2008 C6 Z51 package. Got the big brakes on it. All the options, all the whistles and bells. Got a little aftermarket spoiler. Dual mode exhaust. Pretty sick. Just about getting ready to head out here and we'll get some road video in. Well, we're on the road. This is my son, Rex. Uh, he's the proud owner of his 2008 Atomic Orange C6 Corvette. Uh, we're trying to get out of Denver. It's got the dual mode exhaust, a little louder than mine. Mine was a stock. Uh, it was a uh, base model. I had the LS2. Uh, the, you can definitely tell the, the difference in the exhaust, which is <laughs> pretty sick. Okay, well, we're on the road. This is my son, Rex, uh, driving his first Corvette, uh, his 2008 Atomic Orange Corvette. Rex, why don't you tell me a little bit about your car while we're hit, sitting here trying to get through traffic? Yeah, so, um, like you said, 2008 Atomic Orange LS3 Z51 package with the dual mode performance exhaust, so that's puts out 436 horse and the Z51 is pretty much the Z06 cooling and brakes but without the wide body aero kit on it um, and without you know the, C the LS7 engine the Z06 is all came with um, it's uh, such a beautiful clean car uh, automatic because I live in Los Angeles and I've been looking to get a sports car for a while. I got a 2012 custom Wrangler Unlimited, lifted, four-door. The thing's a massive beast. It is built for in-town hauling and trails. Uh, so I wanted to get something that's low, fast, clean on the highway that I can use to shoot cross country or up the Pacific Coast Highway to go visit friends and family. So so how did you arrive at a C6? Let's... So how did I arrive at a C6? Well, um, I wanted a sports car. So I wanted a C3 because I think that the C3 is honestly the most gorgeous, perfect Corvette in existence. Uh -huh. the, the early C3s. And, can't argue with that. And <laughs> I'm a little biased. Can't argue with that. And maybe that's where I get it from. But to get to get a really nice, clean C3, you know, you're looking at hundred grand, hundred grand, or you know, um, someone that's really babied theirs, and you're still looking at fifty grand because I I work so many hours that I just don't have time to wrench on the car to make it work. I wanted I wanted I wanted something that you know, it was a little more bulletproof that could really take the beating and for the age. And I was going to get a C4. It's, you know, quintessential 80s car. I love it. I wanted digital dash, um, which, you know, those are for the most part garbage. They never work. If you can get them working, it's money. And I don't want to have to be fixing things on the car I just want to enjoy it. So if I'm going to spend 10 grand on a C4, I might as well spend 10 grand on a C5, which is where the modern Corvette really gets its legs and it's beautiful, the last of the pop-up headlight cars. Um, but if you're going to spend, you know, if you're going to buy a C5, you might as well get a C6. It's the refined C5. So 
uh, here I am, two gener- three generations later, right? Uh, twice the budget, but good choice I, though. I want it. I I've driven the I've driven C sixes before, um, LS three and my dad's C three. So you know the the bulletproof engine LS swap it. You know so um, I had some very specific requirements for the car. Like I said, I want it automatic because I want to I want it enjoy driving it. I don't want it to be a chore ever. I want to enjoy driving it all the time. Um, I wanted a heads up display because that's just cool. Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> I wanted a coupe. I didn't want a convertible. I have a, I, I have a Jeep Wrangler. It's a convertible. I, I don't want a convertible top. And, uh, and how many, how many coupe C6s are in California? No, none. None. There's no one, no one, in, no one in Los Angeles ever buys a coupe. It's Los Angeles. It's perfect weather all year round. You leave the top down. That's the plan for the Jeep. Take the doors off, top down. If it's ever bad weather in the winter, then then the seats, then then the, the, the Corvette comes out. Um, but I, I want a daily driver. And as I started looking, uh, I love I love silver on cars. I think it looks classy. I wanted a silver Corvette to match my silver Jeep. And then I thought, do I really want every single car I own to be a monotone color? No. And Atomic Orange is probably the most beautiful Chevrolet color ever made. Definitely the coolest color on any Corvette. So now we got Automatic, we got Coupe, we got Heads Up Display, we got Atomic Orange. I want 3LT because I want to be comfortable. So now we're looking at what? One of 30 cars made yeah. with my requirements. It's pretty much a unicorn with, with all of with the... With all of the package. Sure. So, looked for, you know, I've been looking at cars for a year and a half, going back between V8 Vantages, um, GTX Roadrunners, because that's, those are, I mean, that's one of the coolest Mopar cars of all time. Um, but I always kept coming back to the Corvette, and it must be in your blood. It must be. It must be. Um, and looking on the Corvette forum, and I, I search Atomic Orange, and I just look at them all. I just think, I dream of driving them, dream of owning one. And I finally found one in Denver that met every requirement I had, plus it's the Z51 performance package, Plus, it's got... Yeah, that wasn't even really on the table when you were looking, was it? No, not at all. Um, the Z51 package, it's really nice. It's it's bigger brakes. It's extra cooling. Uh, it's got it's got different shocks um, because it doesn't have the ma- it doesn't have magnetic ride as an option. If you have the Z51, you can't get the magnetic ride. So it's got it's got more sporty shocks and. It wasn't even, it, it wasn't a requirement. It, it was actually, honestly, a bonus. Same with the dual mode exhaust. Honestly, I had I had always planned on putting the car up on a lift, ripping the exhaust out, and throwing up some Corsa or Borla uh, race exhaust on there to get that punch. But with the dual mode exhaust, it's vacuum operated, um, opens and closed baffles on two of the, two of the pipes. Um, so, you know, in town or when you're, in traffic like this, you don't just hear the drone of the the stock Chevy exhaust. And then when you let it open up, it sounds amazing. It's got growl. Yeah. The the previous owner of the car actually gave me a mild to wild switch. Um, he hadn't hooked it up yet, so that's on my list of things to do. And what that is, it's a switch that um, electronically bypasses the vacuum override. So if you're sitting in town, you can open up the exhaust and blast the neighbors with the sweet sound of American V8. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of that, so what are some of the other plans that you may have for the car? Oh, I've got I've got a bunch. I got a laundry list. Um, well, let's hit the highlights. Hit the highlights. So one thing is, um, I want I want Apple uh, Apple CarPlay head unit. After having after installing one in my Jeep, it's something that I really I really appreciate not having to fiddle with cables, having not having to hold your phone in your hand while trying to look at maps. Um, right, right. If, if uh, any of uh, you guys watching this video have looked at the Jeep videos, that's my son's Jeep on the channel. And the electronics portion, I, I showed his uh, Kenwood 
radio with the Apple CarPlay and the Nav, and we liked it so much we put one in my wife's car, the exact same radio. So, yeah, that's definitely, that would be a must on my list and as well. That's it's the exact same radio I'm going to put in here. The other thing is with that head unit, um, Kenwood actually has a special exclusive to their head unit backup camera and I definitely want to get one because Los Angeles is all parallel parking and not that I can't do it or that's difficult I just want to absolutely make sure that I don't back my car into anyone any post anything like that um, it's just a nice thing to have a, a, a creature comfort sure um, and it's cheap it's easy um, so in addition to that one of the main things that I think dates the C6s is the headlights. Um, the C5s and the C4s, C3s, all of them with the pop-up headlights, those are cool, they're classic, they they just pop-up headlights look cool on everything. C6, they transferred over to these um, three bulb in each housing HID headlights. They, they, they were, look dated. They were, they were great when they came out, but they look dated. Um, after a while, you know, the seals, the seals, um, come apart, they get moisture in them. Luckily mine, um, again, this car's cherry. Mine don't have any moisture in them. So, uh, they're good for now, but a uh, company Morimoto, um, makes headlights swaps for the C6. They're plug and play. They got daylight running lights. And they look like what? And they, they're pretty much a reproduction of the C7 headlights. Yeah, that'll be cool. Um, they got daylight running lights, which when you flip on the exhaust, have sequential turn signals, um, LED. They they look, they look mean. Um, they really bring the car up to 2020 because the C6 is beautiful and it looks like a modern car. The, the nothing about it screams mid 2000s. Yeah, one of the things that I didn't yeah. like that I don't like about the C6 headlights, and you know, and my car was Admiral Blue, so it really didn't stand out as much. But they're all body color on the inside of the lights. They're not black. They're not argent. They're not charcoal. And I don't know. To me, it it they it just doesn't look. It just doesn't look like it should. Yeah. So. These new ones, they, they, they look sporty, they look great. Um, also, when I'm getting that, Morimoto's got LED tail lights because if I'm gonna put LED lights in the front, I might as well put them in the back, you know, matching set. So the other things, um, you know, the, the paddle shifters in, in the Chevys. Oh, they're garbage. They, 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 you push forward to upshift, pull back to downshift, it's yeah. really bizarre, so... Um, and it should be one paddle back to sh shift up, one paddle back to shift down. Yeah, so... so that's, um, that, that was an afterthought. Yeah, so um, there's, I think, uh, someone makes billet aluminum paddle shifters for the car. I'm going to swap these out, and then if you just Google C6 F1 paddle shift mod, it's a simple task of pulling two wires out and reversing them so it reverses the polarity of the switch. Right. So it turns the left side pull towards you to shift down, the right side pull towards you to shift which is down, how it correct which is how it should be. Yeah. I'm a big F1 fan. That's I play I I got my I got my sim. Well, it doesn't uh, make any sense if you're if you're moving forward under extreme momentum to push, to push forward, forward so. to shift. That's just dumb. So now that I have it, you know, the steering wheel, it's not it's not it's not terrible. It's in really good condition. The leather's not peeling. It's well, not and it gross. has all your switches in it. Um so I'm going to keep the steering wheel for now. Um so some other what else, what else am I doing? Um rims probably at some point in time down the line um looking at single single block milled aluminum rims um the the ones that i have uh i like they're they're for for stock rims they're they're really nice yeah um i i was i was kind of i was kind of disappointed when they dropped the flat five spoked rims like my uh 07 had yeah the polished ones um yeah, these ones, these ones only came in, um, in like this painted silver yeah. or painted, 
like really dark charcoal. I think I like the dark charcoal of this set of rims better, but I'm not really one for for dark rims. I really like the bright rims right. that stand out. Um, you know, I'm gonna the the brakes. The brakes are fairly new, so when those when those go, since it's got the Z uh, Z51 package, I got big rotors and big calipers. I'll get carbon ceramic pads from the from the Z06 and put them on. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, now now that I'm sitting in the car, um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I really am truly happy with it. The interior, a lot of people rag on the interior of the, the fifth and sixth generation of Corvette as being cheap Chevy, which I'm not gonna say it's not, but I do think it gets a little bit more hate than it really deserves. I mean, this oh, has got hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, I'm, I'm sure it's not actual carbon fiber, but you know, it's not cheap plastic. It doesn't squeak when you push on it. Right. So, you know, for for a, for a Chevy, it, it's it's a lot of car for the money. For, I mean, for when, what, even when it was brand new. For what I got, for what I got. I got an amazing deal. Yeah. When someone bought this car brand new, they got an amazing deal. Yeah, so. and while, while I'm thinking about it, I want to give a shout out to the previous owner, Tyler. Um, you know, Rex and I grabbed one-way tickets to come out here and get this car, and he pulled it out to clean it up and found out it was leaking trans fluid. And he, he busted his butt to get it to the Chevy dealer who couldn't help him to get it to a Corvette specialist that took care of it for us. And, you know, and, and it was days before we came out. This was Wednesday. It didn't get fixed till, you know, yeah, late he, last night. We, and, you know, we picked it up this morning. So yeah, he, he went above and beyond. Yeah. I think most owners and dealers would have probably turned the other way and not said anything. And, and he actually, uh, he ate, he ate the bill for the whole thing. So he, you know, Fantastic. good at, good shout out to Tyler. We appreciate it. So, we're running a little long on the video. I'm gonna cut this short right now, and uh, you know, throughout the rest of the trip, we'll we'll get some roadside shots. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. It, Rex is excited, as am I. Mm -hmm. um, my youngest son has even been planning on getting a C8, but he wants to wait until they've been out and and uh, get a used one. Um, so hopefully maybe in a couple years we'll have a three Corvette family and I've actually been eyeing C7 so who knows maybe be a four Corvette family so um, we hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll get some road shots put up on here for you as well thanks